What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of School for Prophets, where we learn how to understand Bible prophecy. Today, we're going to be learning about the small picture and the bigger picture of Bible prophecy. Now, a lot of the prophecies in the book of Revelation is taken directly from the Old Testament. We call this, or Bible students, prophecy students call this, the type and anti-type. Let me tell you guys what I mean. The book of Revelation talks about seven last plagues. Now, if there is seven last plagues that are yet to come, that must mean that there was a first set of plagues that happened back in the day, which is true. Back in Exodus, there was 10 plagues that hit Egypt. And so in order to understand the seven last plagues that are yet to come, we must first understand or read about the 10 plagues that were in Egypt back in Exodus. I hope that makes sense. And so this is the type and anti-type theme. The seven last plagues is the anti-typical 10 plagues back in Exodus. The 10 plagues back in Exodus is a type of the seven plagues that are yet to come. And so in order for us to understand the small picture and the big picture of Bible prophecy, we must first understand that the book of Revelation is full of references of the Old Testament. Now here's what I mean by small picture and big picture of Bible prophecy. In order for us to understand and interpret the book of Revelation, we must let the Bible interpret the book of Revelation. We must let the Bible interpret itself. In the Bible, a woman is a symbol for a church, God's true church. That's in Jeremiah 6 and verse 2. Also in Ephesians, uh, Paul says that the church is the bride of Christ. So a woman represents a church in the Bible. An apostate church is a harlot. A harlot is a woman that does whoredoms, God says. Um, You can find it in Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Amos. Everywhere in Proverbs, Proverbs talk about the uh, uh, harlot women or a harlot woman. Ezekiel 16 talks about the church, God's true church, becoming an apostate church and God calls them a harlot. So a harlot in Bible prophecy or in the Bible is a symbol for an apostate church. A beast is a symbol for a kingdom or a king or a political system. In Daniel 7, we find four beasts, and they are the kings or the kingdoms or the political system of the world. Now, days in the Bible also has a prophetic meaning. You can find it in Ezekiel 4 and verse 6. God makes a prophecy about Israel, 40 days, but then he appoints a day for a year. So a day in Bible prophecy is equal to a year, a literal year. So if you see in Bible prophecy talking about 42 months, 42 months in the Mosaic calendar is 1260 days. That means that 1260 days in prophecy equal to 1260 literal years. Of course, this is just a brief explanation. You guys can study this on your own. But now that we got the symbolism in order, we can take a look at the small picture and the big picture of prophecy. Now, here's an example, and I'm just going to use one example for today. In 1 Kings and 2 Kings, we find a story about Elijah. Now, Elijah is a type of God's people in Bible prophecy. Elijah's story is just a smaller picture of of a bigger picture in Bible prophecy. So here's the main characters in this story. Elijah, which represents God's people prophetically. Um, We have the harlot Jezebel, okay? Now we already know that a harlot represents an, an apostate church in Bible prophecy. We have King Ahab, which is a political figure or a beast in Bible prophecy. Um, And here's how the story goes. Elijah leaves for three and a half years. Three and a half years is a time, times, and half a time. Three and a half years also equal 42 months. And 42 months is 1260 days, but in prophecy, 1260 literal years. So in this story, 1 Kings and 2 Kings, Elijah leaves 
for 1260 days, and then the harlot Jezebel and King Ahab starts killing the prophets of God, or God's true people. Now, if you take this and apply it to Revelation, there is a harlot on top of a beast that's controlling the beast. A harlot, which is an apostate church, controlling a political system, a beast. And for 1260 days, they kill God's people. Now that's the type or the anti-type of what happened to Elijah in Elijah's story. Because Elijah's story is a parallel to that prophecy in Revelation. So in the Bible, there is a small picture, in this case, the story of Elijah, and a bigger picture in prophecy, in this case, the harlot, the beast, and God's true people. In 1 Kings and 2 Kings, it was a literal harlot and a literal king that killed God's people. In the book of Revelation, it's a harlot that represents a church that controls a beast that represents a political system who kills God's saints. That's the type and anti-type, or you can say small picture and big picture of prophecy. And you got to know the whole book, the whole Bible, to, to really know, to really understand what's going on in Revelation. You can't just... You can't just make it up or you can't, you can't put your own opi opinion into what's going on in the book of Revelation. So that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something. Um, remember, if you really want to understand the book of Revelation, you got to go to the Old Testament. You got to understand fully the details of the Old Testament. Read your Bible every day. Don't just go to church and, and wait for the pastor to tell you about the Bible. Read the Bible yourself. Because you never know. The pastor might be wrong. Right? The Bible is always right. And the Bible will tell you and will interpret these things for you. Prophecy.